Hi guys. All right. This is my bariatric surgery experience part three. And I just got done telling you about where I chose to go for my surgery. And if you haven't seen part two, I'll just tell you now it was the OCC, otherwise known as the obesity control clinic, um, or sorry, obesity control center. Um, out of Tijuana, Mexico, and the doctor was Dr. Ariel Ortiz. Um, so now I want to take you back a little bit and just explain to you a few things that you might not be aware of. So um, when I booked my appointment with them, my starting weight, even though I've been actually a little bit higher than this, um, it wasn't my all-time highest weight, but three weeks out of booking the surgery, my starting weight was 250 pounds. It was going between 250 and 255, if I'm being honest. And so I just, I just said 250 because that was the last time I had weighed. And um, they came back, their nutritionist evaluates your information, and then they come back and they tell you that they want you to do a pre-op diet and that my personal pre-op goal weight was 236. And at first I was super scared because I only had three weeks to do it. And I was like, well, <laughs> if I could lose that weight, I would have by now. Like I haven't been 236 in years. And why all of a sudden do I think I can do it now? But you know, it was, and in all honesty, I still can't explain to you how I did it. Like I followed the rules and it, and it worked and it worked so well for me that surgery day, I was actually 232. So I beat my goal by four pounds in three weeks. And, um, it actually before, like, like a week before surgery, when I knew that I was going to achieve my goal for sure, it actually kind of shook my confidence a little bit. Like, oh my gosh, do I really need to go through with this? Should I actually have the surgery? Because here I am actually successfully losing weight following their um, guidelines, their protocol. And <sighs> for the most part, I still wanted to have it, but I was really not sure. And so I talked to some friends and family and they actually encouraged me to go through with it mainly because it's the most guaranteed thing that I'll ever do to not be in the 200s again. And it's, it, it really is hard to overeat. It's really hard to gain that weight back. You got to practically be self-sabotaging yourself. At least that's my personal experience. Maybe other viewers would say something else. And if so, I'd love to interview you on my channel um, to find out your story and your experience. But for myself, man, it's hard to put on pounds because you can only eat so much. And if you push it, you're going to not feel good. So anyways, I successfully made my pre-op goal, um, goal weight by following the diet that they recommend. And um, you guys, it's super simple. I I want you to, you know, um, do your own research, but I will just give you a tip. It's protein first and then vegetables and healthy fats. That's what it is. And it worked amazingly well. <laughs> and what I don't understand about that, if, um, I'm kind of going off a tangent from what I intended on talking about, but what I don't understand about that is I've done that before. That's essentially like keto or paleo or low carb or whatever. I've done all those variations before and I never had this kind of success. So the only thing I can think of is that I just knew that I had to make my goal weight in order to be able to have the surgery and like a lot was on the line and maybe sheer determination. Well, I'm not sure to be honest. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. So the reason that they want you to lose a certain percentage of your body weight before surgery is because when you're overweight, you have an enlarged liver and losing this amount of weight shrinks up the liver and gets it kind of malleable, pliable so that they can use their like equipment or their tool or whatever and push it up out of the way while they're doing the surgery. If it's too large, they can barely get access to your stomach and it's just in the way. And so in order to have a successful and a safe surgery, you have to have to have to follow the rules and um, do that pre-op diet and get your, your weight down um, to the number that they give you. So I just wanted to um, let everyone be aware of that. And then um, the other thing was, so three weeks went by super fast. Next thing I knew, I was on a plane to San Diego and I can't tell you guys just how seamless this experience was. Like everything impressed me. I literally got off the plane, walked outside, 
kind of looked up and down at all the cars and people standing everywhere. And then uh, within like 10 seconds, I got a, a phone call from the driver and he um, told me, you know, where he was parked, you know, right there at the pickup area. And I looked over and he's waving at me. So he even knew who, what I looked like. They must have showed him a picture. I'm not sure. But he knew who I was. And then when I walked over to the vehicle, sure enough, it, you know, said it had my name. It showed me where it was belonging to. So I felt safe. And then there was also another girl in the car um, that had arrived a few minutes before I did. And so they were just waiting for my plane to come in and I hopped in the car and we had a really short drive um, down to the border and um, we made it through the border seamlessly. Um, he does pull over to a certain area where you um, have to bring them your FMM, FMM card and they like stamp it and then you get back in the car and you proceed on your way. And that was like a five minute deal, super fast. There was nobody in line. Um, we just walked right up and got taken care of. And the OCC has patients coming in and out every single day. And so they have this down to a science and the border control people, they all know the drivers and there was just, it was seamless, super easy. So we get to the OCC. Um, we did bring extra um, cash to tip the drivers. You're in Mexico, you want to tip people. And he was awesome. He spoke English also. And he was also telling us what a good decision we made and um, reassuring us that it's the best place that you can choose um, for this surgery. And so that was really cool of the driver. He didn't have to do that, but he did. And we walk in and they hand us a couple forms to fill out. We're sitting on in the entryway. It's clean. It's comfortable. It's not hectic or busy um, because they only schedule so many patients per day. And um, then we filled out our forms and one by, there was three of us. Um, by the time we got there, we met our third girl and um, they affectionately call people that have their, uh, their gastric sleeve done the same day they call them sleeve sisters so there was three sleeve sisters that day i was one of them and anyways they come and get you they um do a covid test and they draw your blood to do a blood panel and they take your weight and your body fat measurements and then they take you into another nice room where the nutritionist comes in and talks to you and introduces herself. I think it was the anesthesiologist also came in and introduced himself. And what was really cool for me is it was almost like seeing a celebrity because by this point I had watched so many YouTube videos uh, of their channel that I knew um, their names and it was like, oh, finally I'm seeing them in person. But I already knew so many of the staff members from emails and phone calls and then also the YouTube channel. I was even fairly familiar with their building and what it looked like because of their YouTube channel. So I highly recommend that you guys go check that out um, before you have your surgery there. And it'll be like, oh yeah, I know this place and I recognize that. And it was really cool. So that first day was pretty quick. I feel like we were in and out of there in probably an hour for all three of us to go through just, you know, meeting with different people and, and having a few tests. And then the, we went back out. They got a driver for us. We went like a mile down the road to the Hotel Lucerna. Um, I guess they used to have people staying at, I think, the Marriott. But our when I went, it was the Hotel Lucerna. Lucerna and the hotel was amazing, too. You guys, it was beautiful. It was this beautiful courtyard, waterfalls, um, pool, bridges, and all the staff spoke English again. And it felt like um, kind of like a business hotel. Um, the guests that were wandering around just seemed like business people. There, there was one family that had kids that I remember, but um, like playing in the pool. But for the most part, it was adults and they had several restaurants in there. Um, our room, my room was beautiful. It had a balcony overlooking the pool. And basically for the rest of that night, I just did self-care. Um, I, I did go down to the courtyard and sat by the pool under an umbrella and visited with one of my sleeve sisters that night. And we talked about our fears of having the surgery and we um, talked about our goals and how excited we were to be like on the other side the next day, like 
been on this side for years, but then we're going to cross over to the other side and it's going to feel so good to be on the other side of this finally. And then um, somebody that had just had their surgery the day before came up and said, hey, are you guys here for the surgery? And we said yes. And she sat down and told us that she's feeling awesome, um, even though she just had her surgery the day before, which gave us a lot of confidence that we don't have anything to worry about. It's going to be fine. And another thing that's really cool, you guys, is this surgery is only a 20 to 30 minute procedure. So it's not that it's not uh, important procedure or surgery, but they have it down to such a science. They do these every single day that um, and uh, anatomy is essentially the same for every human. And so they have it down to a science. They, they have you in and out in 20 to 30 minutes. Now, of course, the rest of your time is recovering. Um, I spent one night there in the facility and oh, well, I'm skipping ahead. I should tell you about the rest of it. So that night visited with the sleeve sisters, visited with that lady that had just had hers the night before, felt really reassured, really confident, went up to my room early, took a shower, um, did self care with essential oils and went to bed early. I wanted to just love myself and it felt like a very loving gift to give to myself. So I think I'm going to end this here. I'm already past the length of the other videos. Man, I can talk lately. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I'll give you more details about the surgery day on the next video. All right, guys, have a great night. Um, please, if you find this valuable and interesting, please do hit the like and subscribe button and um, comment. And um, that will also give me more ideas for what you guys want to hear me talk about as far as if you have any questions about the surgery or my experiences. Um, can't wait to support you guys through this. And again, it was the best decision I ever made. And I know I chose the best place I could have ever gone to. All right. Have a great night.